गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मेडिकल क्लासेस बाय डॉक्टर शनजीत कुमार आचार्य डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड आल्सो प्लीज गिव योर वैल्यूबल कमेंट्स एंड आल्सो प्लीज लुक इनटू द प्लेलिस्ट इन द प्लेलिस्ट वी हैव गॉट ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स व्हिच इज अरेंज इन अ वेरी सिस्टमेटिक वे इट कंटेंट्स ऑल द टॉपिक्स सो फॉर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एंड इट इज अरेंज इन अ सिस्टमेटिक फैशन सो इट इज क्वाइट इजी फॉर द स्टडी एनीवे so today we will discuss uh, the most basic aspects of uh, ayurveda so that is what is the difference between the contemporary medical sciences and ayurveda as far as approach is concerned i think understanding this particular part is very important to to carry on with ayurveda otherwise at one point of time you may be surrounded by so many questions and you fail to get the answer for the same also what is that particular concept concept is ayurveda is more functional rather than structural now if you look into the contemporary medical science so they give more importance for the structural aspects and there is a cell cell then there is the mitochondria what is happening inside the mitochondria and what is oxidation what is the end product so many things you will go deeper and deeper which is also a part of the study very important part of the study that is the approach <coughs> which is seen in the contemporary medical science in contrary if you look into ayurveda they give more importance for the functions not for the structures if you look into the doshas the basic concept the basic doshas even the doshas although they claim that the structural doshas cannot be visualized in the body but the functions of those doshas can be very well seen in the body therefore they are more functional rather than structural <coughs> now Uh, suppose in a room fan is there the fan has got three wings and all those things then condenser and many other things are there and electricity will be there and the fan is working now in short and in simple to say for ayurveda it is not the wings of the fan which is important which is not the conductor of the fan which is very important which is not the switch and other portions the fan is running and it is giving the cold air that is very important so ayurveda is always concerned with this particular fact that the functions are given or not so we assess everything through the functions <coughs> so it is not the fan and other structures which is important but how much is the functions rendered that is very important similarly uh, in a of office or in a building or in a college it is not the infrastructure of the college it is important how many benches are there how many uh, chairs are there and what are the facility which is given to the children uh, students it is not important how much knowledge which is gained from that particular college is important at the end of the day we know that the same is the approach of ayurveda see we have mentioned so many organs like plea is mentioned yakrit is mentioned kosta is mentioned see nowhere the internal structure of this structures are mentioned isn't it this avayavas are not mentioned spleen as a name it is mentioned but what is there inside the spleen what is happening inside the spleen this microscopic analysis is not mentioned in ayurveda if you see anywhere because the approach is more functional <coughs> ultimately if you are able to achieve that particular function that is sufficient whole approach the whole approach throughout ayurveda the approach of ayurveda is like this therefore when you are studying ayurveda you should not try to find some structural entities there just like in the contemporary science and if you try to search this structural components then then you will end up in many problems and also with many questions ultimately you may also come to a conclusion that nothing is explained in ayurveda it is not like that 
the approach itself is different approach itself is different we are not worried about how a structure is made but we are more concerned about how the function has been rendered inside the structure so therefore an automatic anatomical part is very very superficial in ayurveda they have mentioned some of the name of the shotas mentioned some of the, name of the kalas and functions and not the structures mentioned okay so when the structures comes they says that it is made up of panchamabhuta that's all it is made up of panchamabhuta so this is one of the basic difference uh, that we should remember that we are only looking at the functional aspects many time people say uh, even doshas are also not visible in ayurveda now how we can treat it's not like that because they are told how to assess the doshas functionally parameters are given so when the datus we say most of the time students also attribute some of the structures to the datus even the datus are also not structures datus are also functional integrity functional integrity for example if you structurally correlate the pranama shotas most of the time we will correlate either with the respiratory system or either with the cns system but if you look at the mula of this particular datus pranama shotas and hrudayam mula okay so then it will not correlate similarly medava shotas and vrkam mula again structurally if you see it will not get correlates therefore again in the datus also it is a functional integrity okay one particular group of the <coughs> materials a group of items which is present in the body which helps in completion of one particular function okay that is called as one datu for example uh, the fluid maintenance inside the body so it requires so many things fluid maintenance inside the body requires the uh, uh, what you say <coughs> Uh, the circulatory system then kidney then skin then respiration okay so all these areas are required for the maintenance of the of fluid so we cannot give a particular name of a particular structural entity there if you give that name it will be wrong in terms of ayurveda so therefore what i mean to say is ayurveda is more functional and not structural we do not believe in a uh, dissection and then opening up and then studying the micro events which is taking place we are only concerned with the final results what is the final result datu samya or vikara upashamana so that has to be achieved that is our intention functional intention functional integrity okay so in the beginning itself ayurveda says purusha and prakriti they come together and get sanyoga <coughs> and as a result the srishti utpatti starts okay again sanyoga we believe in combination okay one function is not possible by one single entity one function is made possible by combination of different entities just i told the example of fluid system so this has been depicted in the beginning itself when they say purusha and uh, atma sorry purusha and prakriti they come in together then the srishti utpatti starts that means combinations we always study the combinations not the dissection and this is a basic concept of ayurveda so a beginner should understand this particular point and if you keep this particular point in mind and then go on reading ayurveda then you will understand everything but if you have got a preoccupied mind that i will try to find out everything which is present in the contemporary science in ayurveda also then you will have a lot of problems because approaches are completely different thank you very much again we will meet in another class